I, I was the first time I went to London. Mm-hmm. Now, I ain't never excuse me. I talk better than that, but I'm. A, I have to uh, it's all good. Look, we having fun, man. <laughs> but the first time I went to London, man, and uh, I hadn't been out of the south. I hadn't been. I, I was raised at the when apartheid, American apartheid was at its most, you know, mm. black and white signs down, colored signs downtown, mm-hmm. the whole trip, you know. So I uh, hadn't been around white folks, mm-hmm. white people uh, at all, man. We had a white paper boy that used to throw the evening paper on our street, but he did that about two days. We rocked him off the street. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like to apologize to him. But okay. <laughs> But the first time I went to London, I was uh, with Percy Sledge, and we went to this press conference. And the, uh, mind you, I'd never been out of the country. I had never, and it was the first time I'd ever been in a room full of European people, white mm-hmm. folks. Mm-hmm. And they took Percy to another room. Wow. Man, you know, I'm thinking lynching. Mm-hmm. By I'm yourself. Ku Klux Klan. Mm. I'm thinking about the monument in downtown Augusta that has uh, never have a, has a nation aris- arisen so white and pure. Mm. All this, I put my hand on my knife then. Mm-hmm. And, and mm-hmm. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> no, you, look, you tell the truth, a different day and age. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I had to throw, at that moment, these people came to me differently from anything that I'd ever known in my life. These people... They came, we were equals there. So mm. I had to take all that prejudice in me mm. and this preconcept of who white people were and set it aside. Because mm. these people, it treated me differently, man. And I said, that freed me up. Mm. That took a load off me. Mm. That took a load. And plus, my mom had always instilled in me. Uh, but she said, uh, you know, you're no better than anybody else and you're no less than anybody else. Mm. I always took that to heart. Wow. I